Now, what's the major difference that you've noticed in Brian Mello from a year ago to today? Uh, you've gone through, I mean, this was this is substantial. I mean, you have suddenly you've got millions of fans across this country. Yeah. And a year ago, nobody knew who Brian Mello was. Now you're you're the Canadian idol. Uh, yeah. What's um, the major difference that you've noticed in yourself? In, in myself, well, you know, I think you know, last year and stuff. I mean, there, there, there's points when you're in in this this music business that it can get really tough. And sometimes you'll ask yourself, you know, should should I just stop? Should I just go and you know, get a normal nine to five job and then and then that's it, right? So I think with me. Um, uh, I'm, I'm way more positive. I mean, I, I was never a really negative person person to begin with, but I'm even more positive now than I was before. And I happen, I, I look at the glass half full a lot more than I do half empty. And just just a whole confidence thing, you know. Um, going on stage, even if you kind of see my beginning performances to to the end, I kind of grew as as a performer, um, you know, on TV because it's this whole confidence issue. And then once. Once I had like you know big names like you know people from Queen like like Brian May yeah. and then Bon Jovi and all these people and like Paul Anka telling me that you know they love what I'm doing and stick to what I am and, and be true to who you are. It's just kind of helped me build my confidence and uh, and you know it's it's gone a long way. In a in a way, you guys are sort of sequestered from the rest of the country. Um, you have the house that you're in mm-hmm. uh, with the few remaining idols. You you're close together. I don't know how many people are were in the theater. Was it about a thousand seat or something like that? Some, yeah, about twelve hundred something. Like are that, you yeah. aware how many people would watch the show each week? I mean, you've got a television camera yeah. looking at you, but do you have any concept that there's that many millions of people voting every night? No, you don't. And uh, I think being on this tour, I've had more of a concept of how actually how big this show actually was. You know what I mean? Going city to city, town to town, and people recognizing you and noticing you, then you you start to get a grasp on how impactful this show can actually be. But, I mean, your the schedule that you have on the show, you know, some people might think that it's just, you know, you go, you do your song, that's it. And, but, I mean, you're, you're, you're yeah. pretty steady yeah. each day, and you have a pretty hectic schedule. So we're kind of in this little bubble, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. uh, we're kind of, like you said, like, you know, isolated from the outside world. So we don't really know, you know, how, how crazy it actually is out there. But, uh, you know, touring around the country, I, I start to get a, a good idea on how, how massive this show can be. Must have been an inkling every night when uh, Mr. Mulrooney would come out and, and tell you how many people voted and you guys broke a record there one night. I mean, that yeah. kind of had to be, oh, this is, this is huge. Yeah, it was, it was insane. I mean, I think uh, the last night of voting with myself and, uh, and JD, I think there was 5 million votes. So, I mean, just to think about, you know, 5 million people actually voted for you. I mean, uh, it, it, it's insane. So, um, you know, it's, I don't, it, it's a time in my life that I'll never forget. I mean, it honestly changed my life. 